Okay, welcome to the next one too, is about the features of each store in terms of coding, capacity and duration. I'd just like to emphasize, the sensory register is a store. Okay, a lot of people focus on just short-term memory and long-term memory. Sensory is also a store in the multi-store model of memory. Okay. So, on page 63 of our workbook, you've got further information on the sensory register. And so looking a little bit deeper then, in the exam, you'll need to include more information. Well, the five senses known as modalities in the specification are broken down into iconic memory, which deals with visual information, taste memory, which deals with taste information, olfactory memory, which deals with smell and sensations, ichoic memory, which deals with auditory sound information, and haptic memory, which deals with tactile and touch information. All of that is AO1. All of that will give you more points when it comes to the longer extended questions. So the coding of sensory registers through the five senses. So there you go. So iconic, taste, olfactory, echoic, memory, haptic. Research has shown that the duration of sensory register is very short. So typically only around about 200 to 500 milliseconds. Okay. And laboratory experiments by George Sperling in 1960 really demonstrated the capacity of sensory register, which is approximately about 12 items. Okay, so capacity is the amount of information, the duration is the length of time, and the coding is the way information is stored. Okay, that's it for the sensory register. Okay, but bags of information there. Okay, bags of information for the 16 markers, for introducing, outline or describe and evaluate the multi-store model of memory. Okay, that's it for now. Check out the rest of our bite-sized lessons.